Welcome back to our channel. Today we're excited to share some great news for all KDE Plasma users. The KDE project has just released KDE Plasma 6.1.1, the first point release for the KDE Plasma 6.1. This update brings a lot of bug fixes and improvements, making your KDE Plasma experience smoother and more reliable. Let's dive into the details and see what's new in KDE Plasma 6.1.1. This is an important update that addresses several issues reported by users. It comes just a week after the release of KDE Plasma 6.1, showing the KDE project commitment to quickly fix bugs and improving the user experience. This release includes a variety of bug fixes and enhancements, so let's take a closer look at what's been improved. First up, if you use multiple monitors, you'll be happy to hear that KDE Plasma 6.1.1 has fixed a major bug. Previously, when you drag desktop files to another screen, they will disappear until you restarted the Plasma session. This issue has now been resolved, so you can move files between screens without any problems. Additionally, there was a related issue where dragging files from the desktop to some folders in the Dolphin file manager could cause Plasma to crash. This has also been fixed, ensuring a more stable experience when managing your files. KDE Plasma is known for its sleek and smooth visual effects, and this update makes them even better. The cube effect, which is a popular desktop switching animation, now works more reliably. The zoom effect and ICC color profile have also been improved for better compatibility. Another notable fix is for the shake cursor effect. This effect helps you find your cursor by shaking it when you move the mouse quickly. It now works as expected with every global animation speed settings. The glide effect, which had a visual regression in the previous version, has been fixed as well, ensuring a smooth and visually appealing experience. If you use X Wayland apps, you'll appreciate the improvements in KDE Plasma 6.1.1. There was an issue where X Wayland apps would freeze when their windows were slowly resized, especially if you were using a scaling factor. This problem has been fixed, so X Wayland apps should now run smoothly and without freezing. The new zoom out edit mode in the KDE Plasma 6.1.1 has received some important fixes. This mode allows you to make changes to your desktop layout more easily. One of the bugs that have been fixed involved moving non-centered aligned panels to different screen edges, which previously could cause Plasma to crash. This issue has now been resolved. Moreover, when you drag Plasma widgets while in the new zoom out edit mode, they should now connect to the pointer as expected. This makes it easier to customize your desktop and arrange widgets exactly how you like them. Plasma Discover, the software center for KDE Plasma, also received some attention in this update. There was a visual regression with the still looking indicator that appeared when performing a search after launching the app. This has been fixed, making the search experience more consistent and visually pleasing. In the system monitor, a visual glitch with the text in the center of pie charts has been addressed. Previously, if the text was very long, it would overflow and look messy. This issue has been fixed, ensuring that the text fits properly within the charts. KDE Plasma 6.1.1 includes several improvements to the system settings, specifically the region and language page. For users using metric units with the US letter paper size, such as those in Canada, the correct paper size will now be displayed. This ensures that your regional settings are correctly reflected. Another useful addition is the support for waking up a sleeping screen using a stylus. This is great news for users who prefer using a stylus with their devices, providing more flexibility and convenience. Finally, KDE Plasma 6.1.1 addresses some issues with the screen lock feature. There was a bug that could cause the screen to unlock immediately if the pointer was moved right after the screen locked. This issue has been fixed, making the screen lock more secure. The update also improves the robustness of the screen locker against failure in a few more cases. This means that the screen lock is now more reliable and less likely to fail, providing better security for your system. All around, KDE Plasma 6.1.1 is a significant update that brings numerous bug fixes and improvements to enhance your user experience. Whether you're using multiple monitors, enjoying the visual effects or customizing your desktop, this update makes everything smoother and more reliable. We encourage all KDE Plasma users to update to this latest release to take advantage of these enhancements. 
The KDE project has done a fantastic job addressing user reported issues and improving the overall stability of the desktop environment. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials on KDE Plasma and other Linux topics. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience with KDE Plasma 6.1. See you on the next video.